Everybody and welcome back to our channel. We're Eamon and Beck, and we've been living full time in our own self converted Sprinter van for over a year and a half. Now we have the 144 wheelbase. Eamon's distracted by a dog. <laughs> and we're often asked about upgrading um, how, and how to choose the right van for you. So today we have um, two friends and their vehicles aka their tiny homes who are going to help us through this video um, all different lengths of vans. When it comes to the right van to buy there are a lot of different options on the market. For us we weren't interested in anything that didn't come in a high top. Our first taste of van life was in a low top camper van and boy oh boy there's a huge difference between camping and having a little house on, on wheels. Both Eamon and I are really tall humans. I'm 5'10", he's about 6'1", so as you can see, there's lots of room for us to stand up and move around. So for the purpose of today's video, we're only going to be talking about high top vans. We're about to meet up with a couple friends of ours who live or are about to live in vans, and the reason why we thought we'd bring them into this video it's because they're very, very different. Yes. So we're strictly looking at size of the van and not the make and model. And also what you can do within that size. Within the space. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have an open discussion with some of them. Trent and Ali have been living in it full time. And Sohil and Armita are not even converted yet, but they're planning on their layout. So it'll be interesting to see what people are doing and how they live in their life. We live in a 144 Sprinter van. Trent and Ali live in a 158 Pro Master. Pro Master, and our friends are about to move into a 170 extended Sprinter van. So three different vans, very different sizes, basically from as small to as large you can get within a high top Sprinter. And let's explore what the, what these homies got to say about it. Up first are our friends Trent and Ali, and we can't forget their dog Frank. We're gonna go into their Pro Master, have a look around at what they did for their tiny home on wheels. Uh, it's Frisbee Frank. We've changed his name. Sorry, Frisbee Frank. Frisbee Frank, are you here? Oh, oh hey! <laughs> Look What's at up, these guys? perfectly oh posed God. friends of ours. Hey. <laughs> these guys have invited us inside their little house. We've been here before. Um, <laughs> it's a beautiful self-converted Pro Master. What year? 2017. The easy way to compare is that you guys have the 144 inch wheelbase uh, Sprinter. This is the 159 inch extended ProMaster, which is about the same living space as the 170 inch Sprinter. Mm -hmm. And then there's 170 extended, which right. is like the extra yeah. large one. So we had the 136 inch wheelbase ProMaster, which is like three feet shorter than this one uh, for our first build. Which was great. It was so much easier to drive. It really was just a minivan. Yeah. But the living space is so much more condensed that we definitely didn't feel like we could live in it full time all four seasons. For people that don't understand, what we're talking about is the wheelbase, and that's the distance between the front and the rear axle. Mm -hmm. And the longer that distance gets, the harder it is for you to make a turn or a U-turn or maneuver through any obstacles. So with this being 159 inch, I noticed it's like a pain in the butt to do like a lot of sharp corners and like tight city driving. Mm -hmm. And the ProMaster, or the, uh, the Sprinter 170 is 11 inches longer. Yeah. So it's like literally that much more of a pain. It's literally a bus. You guys yeah. had the smaller version of a ProMaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what was it that made you want to go bigger? So I think really what it came down to was we're big into mountain biking, we're big into outdoor adventuring, and we had a hitch rack for our bikes before. Mm -hmm. So the bikes were mounted to the back of the van. And that was just a little unsettling if we're at night or away from the van to have the bikes out and exposed. Mm -hmm. Bikes are very expensive. Yeah. And so with a longer wheelbase, now we're able to incorporate a more permanent fixed bed where the bikes are stored under the bed. Yeah. People ask us all the time now if we would change anything about our current build uh -huh. and I think it's because we had a van before this mm -hmm. that we learned so much from and knew exactly what was important to us and what our priorities At were this point that in now mm -hmm. we don't we wouldn't change anything yeah. like if we could yeah. go back and rebuild this van I would still do it exactly the same mm -hmm. because I had that experience mm -hmm. so I'm um, we're not gonna give you a tour here today uh, their van basically is they've got a full functioning kitchen hot water shower toilet bed tons of storage. There's a van tour on their channel. They make YouTube videos as well. You can go over there and check that out. Our friends who are arriving are the 170 extended Sprinter and that 
is completely layout free at the moment. So it'll be really fun to chat with them and see what they're thinking. Um, they have never lived in a van before, so just kind of offer up our insights and help them prioritize what they want for their build. Bet you can do two cartwheels inside their van. How much? Like in a row. <laughs> I'll bet you a, a new iPhone case. I'll bet you, I'll bet you a latte. I'll bet you your iPhone case. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure I just heard them roll up. Let's go bang on their door. Why not? We said. I'm pretty We're sure they don't have you. a side door. Let's go to the we'll back. Have to go to the back. Hello. Oh, hi. Hello. La I love the lighting in here, guys. <laughs> is it good? Is it a real shiny vibe. This is like a disco party. Talking very slowly. We were talking about how exciting of a phase this is. So, oh, oh yeah. The world is your oyster at this point. <laughs> we are, why not? We said because we technically said why not to this lifestyle. Mm. So, yeah, that's that's it for now. Till we build it, we are working on layout. So yeah, we have we actually one million different layout because we don't have a sliding door, so it's kind of like yeah, very different than other people. So and maybe we yeah. can all sit together with some experienced van builders, <laughs> van lifers, and chat through your layout. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Let's yeah, do that's it. Why we're, we're battling with the natural elements of the light, so we're gonna quickly just run through what their van is, what size it is, and what options we could possibly do. Are we too far from the, for the mic? They have blueprints. <laughs> we got so many of those. All right, yeah, we've all decided that this is weird, so we're gonna go sit down and talk. <laughs> so we've transitioned from the cold, dark, and what was the other Storm one? Windy, windy. Really? Stormy, windy outdoors, and we've come back to the office to just chat things over with why not we said. Essentially, they're in a state of paralysis at the moment because they have so, so, so many options. So we're gonna hear from Trent and Ali, Eamon and I, and figure out what we would add to our van if we had the space. Sohil and Armida have a empty shell of a van at the moment. It's a 170 <laughs> I see extended. a canvas when I look at that van. Like it's just Positive a beautiful well, please come in and black, it. which is unusual, <laughs> a black canvas. Maybe we should start with just us. Okay. Because we're actually at a point where we've got the smallest van possible. We definitely want to live this lifestyle long term and we're Longer. starting to feel the itch to maybe have a toilet and shower. Mm -hmm. And I think mainly the shower is brought on by these. They let us shower in their van and we were just like, this <laughs> is next level yeah, great. Yeah, great. And it was like, boom, I open her like this is so possible. Yes, so possible, toilet. So for us, the next move would probably be a step up like that. Excuse me. Yeah, Ooh, so absolutely. washroom is definitely like one of the biggest steps I think that changes it from like a roughing it in a vehicle to like a... This is full time. We can survive in this yeah, thing yeah. as long as you have somewhere to fill up water. You and I only have insight into what we would add should we go to your size. Yeah. So that's why I think it'd be interesting. Okay, that's what we'd add. Just tower and toilet. Yeah. Tower and toilet. Tower and toilet. Tower Shower and toilet. toilet. So and then... That, that, will be, that will be it because you have still more room. What would you do with that? I don't know. Let's uh, go on to these yeah. guys who have all that room. What would you guys add sure, next? I mean, room. you mean like in addition or in addition to what you yeah. have? Yeah, besides like a sauna. <laughs> and a room, like, obviously, those are things I would love to incorporate. Um, I don't know. Have you thought of this? Um, if our van was two or three feet longer, a washing machine that could wash your wow. clothes, like mm -hmm. one of those oh like foot operated <laughs> oh, yeah. ones. Yeah. 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 There was someone you... just sent me that it looked really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's foot yeah. operated. Like, I've like, seen those in like tiny houses. Oh, More water? I would probably do two water tanks by yeah. every van. Okay. So probably like 60 something gallons. I don't know how many liters that would be, but probably, probably 60 something gallons. Um, and really it would probably not be much more as far as like the the spaces or the functionality that we have in our van, but it would just be more spaced out. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I think we, storage is the big thing. Like you have your bed, you have your kitchen, you have your washroom. Those are like the necessities that you're looking yeah. at. Right, and then I like that point. It's like not about adding more to it necessarily. It's about having the luxury of the space. If you guys are interested, maybe we can meet up with you guys when yeah. you're you know, ready to tour it Update. and reshare yeah, and it. <laughs> That'll, yeah, I can't wait for that day. So let us know in the comments below if you'd be interested in that. But I think just for now, maybe you guys can leave everyone with some of your priorities and they can also help give their ideas in the comments about things yeah, and layouts yeah. and different things like that. Well, we definitely gonna have the shower and 
big closet. <laughs> well, I have a lot of clothes that I, I'm trying and trying to let go, but it's hard. Yeah. Anyways, and we have a little dog, so she needs a space. She's the priority. She has to have her own. I'm sorry, I don't think I introed her properly. That's okay. Like the credit she deserves. Lily. She is Lily. so cute. Lily the Golden Dude. Yeah. Also, I feel like we're on one of those HGTV shows where yeah, you're like, does feel like what that. do you? What's your priority in the house you're gonna buy? And we're like. The dog needs a space. I need a big closet. Yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 this is yeah. great. So keep it well, coming. It's all beneficial yeah, for so um, but we are open to have the um, kind of two benches and then make it a bit. So we, we open to that and mm -hmm. making the bed every morning. Yeah. Um, a beautiful kitchen, obviously. Um, <laughs> Place. We want to be able to have space to sit down and work and you know invite people. Yeah, host. Yeah, host yeah. people basically. So that's the key. I think if we have a fixed bed, which has its own advantage, I think we'll lose that um, Definitely. space. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the fixed bed gives you some storage underneath as well, which oh, could be beneficial. But yeah. <laughs> Everyone wants bikes and skateboards and surfboards and you're like, I need my clothes, <laughs> extra clothing storage. But you're so right about the paralysis stage. There were yeah. so many times during our build where Trent was just in this fear of decision making stage where you're just standing there with an empty shell and you don't know what to do first yeah. because there, the opportunities can be so overwhelming. Exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. My question exactly. is, how many hours have you guys spent just staring at this? <laughs> well, I have about 100 copies of those. I could print the PDF and, and uh, well, we just don't go is, anywhere. This is, could be interesting. So we live in a studio. So we actually lay out the floor, the side oh, nice. of the van. Nice. Oh, with with the tape there. and everything. Yeah. Are, we Are you vlogging this? People would love to see this. Hope you guys enjoyed our little sneak peek into what life would be like in all three types of sizes of vans. They're not types of sizes, they're just vans. I know it was a little <laughs> bit different, but if you did enjoy it, smash that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Follow all these guys. They're future YouTubers, current YouTubers, and amazing people to <laughs> aspire to or just follow, <laughs> or just send kisses and love. All right, until next time, guys. Peace. Okay, do you want any shots of us laughing? No. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. <laughs>